with this uh, uh, next speaker, Jangir Sahar. He's, uh, let me introduce a today who is in biography. He received a Bachelor of Science of Pharmaceutical Science and a Master degree of Pharmacology from Peking University. And he got a PhD of uh, Oncology in San Yat-sen University. Uh, he had been the visiting scholar at the School of Chinese Medicine in Hong Kong, Memphis uh, University for two years. He's currently committee member of the Society of Anti-Cancer Drugs, Chinese Anti-Cancer Association, and a committee member of the Division of the Human Pharmacology and the Chinese Pharmacology Society. Thank you, Kuyama, for your introduction. Well, I know everyone, it's my honor to be here to share my research with uh, our international friends. And uh, my topic is uh, method um, investigation of growth inhibition and uh, apoptosis caused by Brookhaven D in K562 cells. And I am from Guangzhou Medical University uh, in South China. Before I introduce my work, I want to introduce myself. And uh, uh, during my uh, venture college life and uh, uh, master life, I uh, major uh, mainly is chemistry, uh, pharmaceutics, and uh, pharmacology. Uh, my pharmacology uh, life is uh, uh, focused on active compounds. Uh, close to phytochemistry, and uh, my uh, investigated plan is uh, Nomotica Gross Vernal. Uh, during my research, I found it is uh, not enough to focus on only chemicals of uh, traditional Chinese medicine, TCM. And uh, when you only do your chemical work uh, during your master life, and uh, it is lucky uh, for you to obtain a new compound, and it is very lucky to obtain a new skeleton compound, and it is very lucky and you do a great job. But uh, often, uh, usually, you cannot uh, obtain a new compound. So I realized I must uh, do another work, that is pharmacology. So I choose uh, oncology and uh, the investigation is uh, uh, cancer pharmacology for my PhD. And however, it is not uh, easy, uh, actually very difficult. There's uh, very few supervisors can accept uh, such background to, uh, to do my research uh, in my group, right? Yeah, it's very difficult. And, uh, now I try to combine uh, this two research, uh, that is anti-cancer agents from TCM and uh, natural products. And I uh, both do chemical and uh, pharmacological, yeah. Actually, yesterday, uh, some big names, uh, big flavors, uh, has mentioned TCM modernization. Actually, during my college life, that is uh, 1996, uh, that is the beginning, almost the beginning of uh, TCM modernization. Uh, many theory, uh, many opinion, uh, uh, including GAP and uh, identification, quality and control. In my uh, opinion, it is very important to identify which compound or which type of compound or uh, which of uh, these two or these more uh, compounds are the main active compounds uh, for specific uh, disease such as cancer. That is, you can set up better standard reference for quality control. Now I'm a department director of uh, medicina chemistry and uh, natural medicina chemistry. And also I'm committee member of division of Human Pharmacological Society and uh, 
committee member of the Society of Anti-Cancer Drugs, Chinese Anti-Cancer Association. That is the three parts of uh, my report. My, in this report, I will uh, introduce Borussia uh, Javonica, that is uh, Yan's in Chinese. Fructose Borussia is the dry mature fruit of Borussia Javonica from the family of Simalubacia. And uh, there are two pictures for this plant and uh, fruit. This plant grows in South China, such as uh, Guangxi province. This plant, or this, this uh, TCM, is uh, first uh, recorded in the supplement of uh, Compendium of Material Medica, that is uh, in Chinese, Ben Chao Gan Mu Shi is first recorded in this book. <clears throat> in Chinese medicine theory, uh, TCM is guided by Chinese uh, medicine theory. Glucose blue is bitter, tasted with a cold property. Usually is used is or oral intake or external application. And uh, its function is uh, cooling down the heat, heat, and uh, leading to detoxification. And uh, it can treat uh, many diseases. And uh, what is uh, my interest is cancer. Regarding compounds, it has uh, these two types of chemicals, such as nicalic lactones, triterpenoids, alkaloids, and uh, flavonoids. Here, this type of flavonoids is uh, very common in nature. And uh, these uh, three types of compounds is uh, uh, very uh, typical. Branch. And there are some examples of uh, compound types. Actually, it has uh, uh, been isolated uh, more than 150 compounds from this plant. And uh, this type of compound is nigalic lactones, and uh, it's more than uh, 70 compounds of this type. That is uh, treatable noise. There's more than 20 uh, compounds uh, has been separated from this plant. And uh, that is uh, alkaloids. alkaloids. And, uh, these are flavonoids. Flavonoids uh, is very common. I pay attention to his uh, uh, compounds and also his uh, pharmacological effect. And uh, firstly, it is anti-tumor, anti-cancer effect, and other activities. Here, I pay attention to leukemia cell line, K562 cells. And uh, this is the structure, Brookhand D. And it shows potential, uh, potential inhibition uh, effect in K56 uh, cells. And uh, the IC50 values is uh, about uh, 6 micromole. And uh, the treatment time is uh, 72 hours. Firstly, after the inhibition assay, we want to know uh, which pathway is included in its uh, mechanism. Firstly, I investigate uh, AKT and uh, ERK. We found when the concentration is 6, so, uh, uh, 3, 6, and 12 micromole, uh, treatment time is uh, 6 hours. 
and uh, our compound can significantly inhibit uh, phosphorylation level of uh, AKT and uh, YAK in this uh, cell line. It is quite uh, significant, yeah. showing concentration dependent manner. Yeah. And after three times of independent uh, experiment, the Western blood band was uh, analyzed by ImageG soft uh, and the color tree and the uh, density, densitometric results we showed uh, here. And our results showed uh, our compound can significantly inhibit the phosphorylation of AKT and YAK. This picture shows time course. Uh, last slide is uh, concentration, and this is time course. Similarly, and uh, from two hour, four hour, and uh, six hour, it shows time course of inhibition of phosphorylation of uh, uh, AKT and uh, YAK in uh, this cell. Subsequently, we want to know uh, where uh, apoptosis is included in this uh, process. Apoptosis is a uh, uh, usual uh, mechanism of anti-cancer drugs. And we found that this is a time cost, and the concentration is 12 micromore. We found that uh, uh, it uh, induced apoptosis in this uh, uh, cancer cell line, showing time cost. And uh, these are the data out of three times of experiment. These two features confirm uh, last slide of apoptosis uh, induced. And uh, we found that case base nine, case base three, and which is the uh, which are important factors during the apoptosis uh, uh, process, and uh, they are activated uh, by showing cleavage of former form of protein, case base nine and uh, case base three, and uh, case base nine former is. Uh, 47 kd and uh, the cleavage is uh, 37 and uh, 35 kd and uh, the former case base 3 is uh, 35 kd and the activity is uh, 17 also part cleavage is observed is observed and uh, this uh, cleavage is uh, apoptosis uh, ending. And uh, these uh, three pictures are uh, static with uh, analysis. Usually, activation of case space 9 is uh, belonging to mitochondrial. Uh, apoptosis pathway. Uh, during this pathway, uh, the most uh, the important uh, thing is uh, release of cytochrome C. And, uh, and other uh, uh, issues such as uh, loss of uh, mitochondrial membrane potential. Indeed, in our research, we found decrease of mitochondrial membrane potential. And uh, this is uh, concentration, uh, showing concentration dependent manner. And uh, there are data of uh, three times. Indeed, we found cytochrome C was released uh, during this apoptosis process. And uh, that is uh, uh, three concentration, and the uh, treatment time is uh, uh, 
24 hours. Analyze the data of three experiments. For this uh, summer, we found these two points. And the apoptosis of K562 cells induced by blue can D might be related to mitochondrial pathway of apoptosis. And the decrease of phosphorylation form AKT and ERK might be included in the growth inhibition of K562 cells. And uh, this is a summary picture. Yeah. It can inhibit phosphorylation of these two protein. And also, it can target mitochondria. And uh, cytochrome C was released in the cytosol. And uh, subsequently, case base 9 was activated. And uh, case base 3 was activated and uh, to cleave. That is apoptosis. <coughs> I have mentioned that this plant contains more than 150 compounds. We only investigated this one compound, and uh, during future work, we may try to find other targets of our compounds, such as death receptor pathway of apoptosis, and uh, such a protein, such as uh, thymet, etc., and uh, such as cell cycle. Also, we found, we will try to find more compounds from this plant and uh, investigate the uh, anti cancer activity and uh, summarize the SAR, and uh, that is my uh, research interest. And uh, I know it's a uh, long time to go, you know, in China, uh, how much grant or money uh, decide uh, how much things you can do, right? And uh, I will express my thanks to my supervisor or master and PhD, especially uh, these two professors uh, give me hope of research uh, of TCM modernization. Also, I want to express my thanks to my, uh, during my uh, visiting a uh, scholar period in Hong Kong Baptist University. Uh, also, uh, a grant from NCFC and uh, another grant from Guangdong Province uh, uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for Eric. Okay, okay. okay. We are very nice to be there for the session. Kumpan, are there any other questions? Any questions? Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, how uh, I will ask how much amount of compound would you have you isolated and does it has shown a selectivity uh, for a specific cell tumor cell? Have you tested against that one cancer cell line? You mean other types of cancer? Cell, cell lines like uh, that one cell tumor cell? Okay, uh, I did not show here. Actually, I will have uh, uh, carry uh, activity screening against uh, uh, lung cancer cell line and uh, uh, stomach cancer cell line. And we found uh, its activity is uh, best uh, against uh, these uh, KF562 cells. So uh, the word is passing. Uh, I think the word is passing problem of selectivity, especially like pancreatic cancer. So I mean that you have, if you have more than 10 or 12 cell cancer cell line, and uh, um, I think that if it shows selectivity like uh, pancreatic cancer and other, so uh, I mean it, it can become up to you for your future work. So only two cancer cell lines, is it? Uh, have you enough amount to test against the different cancer cell line like pancreatic and other? You 
assuming try another type of cancer cell line, right? Pancreas, pancreatic cancer cell line, other solid tumor cancer cell line, only two, you have mentioned only two. So have you result of others? Yeah, uh, I will, will try another cancer cell line in future, thank you. How do you confirm the cancer cell Toxic against the normal cell, yeah. not, not, not the cancer. Often, this question is often uh, asked <laughs> during such as uh, uh, cell uh, defense, uh, such as. And uh, uh, sometimes we will try normal cells, but usually we did not. Uh, uh, if uh, the paper is submitted to uh, some journals, if the reviewer uh, requests, we will uh, do it. Yeah. Any, any question? Um, I was wondering, I wanted to ask you uh, how many milligrams you use for day, say, and why for same thing? Is that a major compound from your species? It is not a. Uh, uh, the mainly, mainly is the compound or this plant, and uh, but it is uh, uh, the compound is uh, separated uh, by our group, uh, yeah. And uh, we will try other compounds or this plant. That's why it's uh, more than uh, one hundred and fifty <coughs> compounds of our this plant reported. And, yeah. Thank you. So thank you very much again. Thank you.